Microsoft and Quantinuum have just revealed a big breakthrough, the development of a logical qubit, a quantum bit that is significantly more robust and trustworthy than its predecessors. This revelation might be a watershed moment in the quest to create functional quantum computers with far-reaching consequences for sectors such as material research, drug discovery and artificial intelligence. Let's go into what a logical qubit is and why it's such a game-changer. Microsoft and Quantinuum Partnership Quantum computers vary from ordinary computers. They employ quantum bits or qubits rather than the ordinary bits we use today. Qubits, unlike conventional bits, may be zero, one or both at the same time due to a feature known as superposition. This enables Quantinuum computers to process massive volumes of data extremely fast. However, qubits are extremely delicate and susceptible to mistakes. This is where logical qubits come in. Logical qubits are created by merging many physical qubits in a way that minimizes the possibility of mistakes. The objective is to make them as robust and dependable as possible, allowing quantum computers to do complicated computations without errors. Microsoft and Quantinuum began working on this some months ago. They paired Microsoft's qubit virtualization solution with Quantinuum's advanced H-series ion trap qubits. The ion trap technique is one method for creating qubits by employing ions, or charged atoms, kept in place by electric fields. By merging these two methods, scientists were able to develop logical qubits that are far more dependable than previously. This accomplishment is crucial because dependable logical qubits are required for quantum computers to handle critical real-world challenges. Quantum computing has the potential to transform fields such as drug development, material science and encryption, but it requires stable and error-free qubits to do this. With this new advancement, Microsoft and Quantinuum are moving us closer to our objective. How it all began. Initially, Microsoft and Quantinuum were able to generate four logical qubits from 30 physical qubits. Physical qubits are the fundamental building elements of a quantum computer, yet they are prone to mistakes. To address this issue, organizations combine many physical qubits to form a single logical qubit, which is more stable and trustworthy. The most intriguing aspect of their initial breakthrough was that the logical qubits they created had an error rate 800 times lower than the real qubits. In other words, the logical qubits produced far fewer mistakes, which is critical in quantum computing. Microsoft was impressed by this feat, but they wanted to push their technology even further to see if they could enhance it. Their determination paid off. With further research and effort, Microsoft and Quantinuum were able to broaden their work. They have now manufactured 12 logical qubits from 56 physical qubits. They accomplished this with Quantinuum's powerful H2 quantum machine, which is built on iron trap technology. What's more amazing about this new accomplishment is the great level of realism they achieved. In this sense, fidelity refers to the accuracy with which quantum operations are conducted. In their example, they obtained 99.8% faithfulness for two qubit operations. This indicates that practically all of the two qubit operations they carried out were right, with extremely few errors. This is a significant advancement since quantum computers require extremely trustworthy qubits to solve difficult issues such as medicine development, climate modeling, and secure communication. Microsoft and Quantinuum have made substantial progress toward practical, real-world applications of quantum computing attaining 99.8% accuracy and producing 12 logical qubits. Microsoft and Quantinuum teams demonstrated entanglement of logical qubits, which is a significant advancement in quantum computing. Entanglement is a unique phenomenon of quantum physics in which two or more qubits become coupled in such a manner that the state of one instantaneously affects the state of the other, regardless of how far away they are. This is one of the major features that distinguishes quantum computing from traditional computers. 
the employment of a sophisticated arrangement known as a Greenberger Horn Zeiling Estate added to the uniqueness of this performance. This is more complex than the basic entanglement mechanism known as a bell state, which has been employed in previous investigations. The GHZ state involves the entanglement of several qubits at the same time, resulting in a more complex and demanding arrangement. It's like progressing from simple collaboration to highly coordinated teamwork, in which each team member or qubit is inextricably linked to the others. Despite the intricacy, the teams were able to maintain a relatively low error rate. The error rate for this entangled circuit was only 0.0011. To put this into perspective, the error rate of physical qubits, the fundamental building blocks of quantum computing, was 0.024, which is far higher. As a result, the logical qubits they developed were far more precise and dependable. This is a significant accomplishment since reducing the error rate is required for quantum computers to perform important tasks. One of the major issues in quantum computing is error management, as qubits are extremely sensitive and readily disrupted. However, with such a low mistake rate, these trials indicate that we are moving closer to developing fault-tolerant quantum computing. Fault-tolerant quantum computing implies that even if certain qubits produce errors, the system as a whole can continue to function properly. This is significant because it would enable quantum computers to execute deep, sophisticated calculations reliably. By minimizing mistakes and exhibiting more complex entanglement, Microsoft and Quantinuum are setting the framework for future quantum computers capable of handling real-world issues such as encryption cracking, modeling molecules for novel medications, and solving climate models. This advancement is a significant step toward realizing the full promise of quantum technology. With developments like these, quantum computers become more competent and dependable, bringing us closer to a future in which we can solve issues that today's computers cannot. The process. The method began with determining a catalyst's active space, which is the area of the catalyst that is responsible for chemical reactions. Scientists accomplished this using high-performance computing simulations. HPC enables computers to rapidly process enormous volumes of data allowing scientists to better understand complicated systems such as catalysts. After identifying the active space, scientists employed logical qubits to replicate its quantum activity. Quantum behaviour describes how things such as atoms and molecules act at the tiniest scale, and it may be extremely difficult to anticipate using conventional computers. This is where quantum computers come in helpful as they are superior at handling this kind of calculation. After running the quantum simulations, they received measurement findings that helped them understand how the catalyst functions. But they did not stop there. The measurement data was then incorporated into an artificial intelligence model. The AI model used this information to learn and increase its comprehension of the system. Eventually, the AI was able to produce an extremely precise estimate of the catalyst's ground state energy. The ground state energy is the lowest possible energy that the system may have, which is useful for determining how stable or reactive the catalyst may be. This whole method, which begins with HPC simulations, uses quantum computing to replicate the catalyst's action and then trains an AI model to produce correct findings is a significant achievement. It is the first time quantum computing, HPC, and AI have been used to solve a scientific issue from beginning to end. This breakthrough demonstrates that quantum technology is no longer purely theoretical. It can truly be utilized to solve real-world scientific problems. The current results of this investigation do not yet demonstrate what is known as a full scientific quantum advantage. The quantum advantage occurs when quantum computers can solve problems that classical or normal computers cannot. In other words, we have not yet reached the point where quantum computers can entirely outperform traditional computers in all fields. 
However, these findings suggest that quantum systems have the potential to outperform traditional approaches in some scenarios. This study employed a mixed method. This suggests that the scientists use both quantum and traditional computer approaches. The combination of the two improves overall performance. While quantum computers have limits, particularly because they are new and evolving, this hybrid technique demonstrates how quantum technology may already be effective in several fields. Chemical calculations are one such field. Classical computers excel at handling a wide range of issues, but they struggle with complicated chemical systems, particularly comprehending how molecules act at the quantum level, the tiniest size. These sorts of issues need a tremendous amount of computational power and Traditional computers can only go so far before hitting a wall. Here's where quantum computing comes in. In this work, quantum computers improved the accuracy of chemical computations, particularly for situations that conventional computers cannot solve. For example, quantum systems may simulate molecular behavior more precisely than classical systems, allowing scientists to better anticipate chemical reactions or find novel materials. While quantum computers have not yet completely surpassed conventional computers in all tasks, this study demonstrates how they might complement traditional approaches. By improving the precision of difficult computations, quantum technology is already demonstrating its usefulness, and it is expected that as these systems improve, they will become ever more powerful and valuable. Future possibility Microsoft has enormous aspirations for Azure Quantum, its quantum computing platform. The business claims it is dedicated to refining and growing this platform to properly support various types of qubits, which are the fundamental building blocks of quantum computing. Microsoft is concentrating on two types of qubits, neutral atom qubits and topological qubits. Neutral atom qubits are qubits constructed of neutral atoms that have no electric charge. These qubits are arranged and manipulated with lasers. One advantage of neutral atom qubits is that they can be packed tightly together, making them ideal for creating huge quantum systems. They are seen as extremely promising for scaling up quantum computers implying that we may ultimately be able to develop much larger quantum computers with more computing capability. Microsoft is also interested in topological qubits. These qubits vary in that they are intended to be more stable and less prone to mistakes. Topological qubits store information in a unique fashion that prevents it from being readily affected by outside forces. This might improve the reliability of topological qubits in quantum computing. However, developing topological qubits remains a significant scientific hurdle, and Microsoft is investing in research to make them a reality. Microsoft's integration of these various sorts of qubits into its Azure Quantum platform contributes to the development of quantum computers that are more dependable and capable of handling far bigger issues. Reliability is critical because quantum computers must conduct operations with minimal mistakes. Scalability is particularly crucial since the more qubits a quantum computer has, the more sophisticated computations it can do. Microsoft believes that quantum computing will someday be strong enough to address some of the world's most pressing concerns. This includes things like discovering breakthrough medications, producing better energy sources, resolving difficult climate issues, and even designing secure communication networks. To get there, quantum computers must become more practical and scalable, which is precisely what Microsoft is aiming for with its Azure Quantum platform. If you made it this far, please share your thoughts in the comments box below. For more intriguing subjects, check the recommended video that appears on the screen right now. Thank you for watching.